Welcome Libras. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Happy to be back here with you guys today. Let's take a look into February. All right. February 2020. Let's see what energy is coming towards you. All right. These are general reads. They won't resonate with every single Libra. If they resonate, great. This was your story. This was your read. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in the comment section and share with your family and your friends. Okay. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon and your rising videos. You might find your message there. All right, so let's hop into Libras. What message is there for Libras? Give me an overall message, please. All right, so you guys had a few jumpers. They jumped straight out. So let's go. All right, so it looks like you guys are thinking about the past, a relationship from the past. We have memories of love, base chakra, and love begins. So... You may be looking back at your past, but you have something new in front of you or someone from the past wants to start over something to that nature. Yeah, I see awareness and transformation. OK, so let's look at these two first. We have awareness and transformation. So you're aware that there needs to be some type of ending or some type of change. OK. But I'm definitely sensing that there is a closing of a chapter on a relationship because we have transformation and universe, which is definitely an ending of a cycle. OK, so you may be aware that you need to end a cycle. A cycle needs to end. And then we have harmony. OK, so you can be more at peace, more at balance. OK, you could be dealing with the Gemini, but this could be definitely in regards to love, a connection that you have with someone or had with someone because it looks like you guys are ready to wrap a situation up. You may have been seeing the number 999, okay? Getting ready to wrap up a phase, closing that phase out, okay? You may be looking for something new, okay? You may be on the lookout for something completely new, all right? What message is there for my Libras? Sun, moon, and rising, please. What message is there for Libras? We got a high priestess of water, okay? You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. What message is there for Libras? Message is there for Libras, please. What message is there for Libras? All right, Libras, we have honesty, okay? And then at the bottom of the deck, we have belonging. And then we have love, wow. And we have fulfillment and the high priestess of air. So I feel like you know what it is that you want, okay? You know exactly what it is that you want. You know where, you're be where you belong. And I feel like you are being honest about that. You're being honest with yourself. You're being honest with this other person about what you want, okay? And what you consider love and where you feel like you belong, okay? Wow, that was very straight to the point. <laughs> That was straight to the point, okay? What message? Give me an overall message for Libras, please. Give me a message for Libras. Libras, what message is that? Sun, moon, and rising. Venus. What message do you have for Libras, please? All right. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Nine of Wands.
What other message is there for Libras? Oh, something's not over. All right. You're not sure if something is. Okay, maybe you could be feeling like you're you're trying to wait something out to see if someone is going to regret. Okay, you're waiting to see if this person is going to regret something. Cutting you off. Okay, because I feel like somebody broke your heart or hurt your feelings here with this three of swords. Okay, I feel like someone hurt your feelings here. You're waiting to see if they're going to regret it. And I'm getting like payback energy here as well, too. You're waiting for this person to um, regret something. Okay, that's what I'm picking up here. Why, why, show me the past energy. And I feel like you guys feel like, oh, it's not over. It ain't over. Even though this chapter is closed, I feel like the universe is conspiring, okay, is closing this chapter. But I feel like um, some of you feel like, oh, no, this it ain't over. Not yet. I want you to regret what you did to me. Past energy. Past energy. Okay, past energy. Look, we got the death card. So maybe there hasn't been any communication. Okay, money could be involved with this Ten of Pentacles. You could be looking for some type of support. Okay, with the Hermit card. You could be dealing with the Virgo. You feel abandoned. I'm feeling like someone, you feel like this person abandoned you or walked out on you. Okay, show me what's crowning the situation. The emperor, okay, look, we got the emperor and the empress, okay, so this could be a baby mom, a baby father thing, or this is the mother and the father card, this is also counterparts, okay, so maybe you felt like this person was your perfect match, y'all was supposed to be together, okay, but this is definitely like a match, okay, so you felt like this person was like a soulmate or you felt like you two were meant to be together. Yeah, we got you guys' this energy justice. I'm getting that there is like karma. Somebody wants karma. Because look, we got the five of swords. It's like you're not going to get over it until... <laughs> you're not over it. Is what I'm getting. So this is you not being over it. This is the energy that I'm getting. Like, oh, it ain't over. To I get my karma. To you get to you get what's coming towards you. Okay. I feel like for some of you guys, this person could be at a distance from you. We got six of swords and the eight of wands. Okay. Or someone saying that is that they moved on. But I'm getting like very feelings of being defeat defeated. Okay. Give me the future energy. Six of Cups. Okay. This is the past coming back. Or so there's a reuniting. Okay. There's a, some type of reuniting. Why is the Six of Cups here? For some of you guys, this could be a court situation. You could be dealing with the court system. Yeah, somebody's trying to um, return, okay? Somebody's trying to return. Someone tries to come back. You know your intuition is telling you that they're going to try to come back. But you're going to be tired of the back and forth. You're going to be feeling like, no, I'm, too, I'm tired of all this back and forth. I knew you was coming back. I knew you was going to come back. Like I said, I knew this wasn't over. Okay, I knew this wasn't this wasn't done. You just waiting it out. I feel like you're waiting it out. Like you'll be back. You'll be back. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is energy. You could be dealing with a someone who's very headstrong, someone who's very big on authority, and they pretty much speak their truth. Someone is cutting someone out, cutting someone off, cussing somebody out. <laughs> what message is there for Libras, please? What message do you have for Libras? Oh, 
Okay. Don't wait on this person. Okay. To be honest, Libras, the answer is no. Okay. Don't wait around on this person. No. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. If this person comes back around, give them the cold shoulder. Okay. This is a no. And I feel like it's time for you to cut ties. Okay. So we have, this is going to be to protect you. Okay. This is for your protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords. It's time for you to cut this tie with this person. They come back around to you and ask you and say that they want to come back around in your life. The answer is no. <laughs> no. You got to trust your intuition. Okay. You trust your intuition about this person. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Okay. You might feel a certain type of way about the situation. What is that telling you? What is your intuition trying to tell you? Okay. And I got a good, healthy hint that it should be, well, when this person come back around, no. Can I see you? No. Can we go out to eat? No. <laughs> Can I talk to you? No. And this is for your own protection. Okay. This right now is not the right time. It's not the right time. Postpone. Po you know, po postpone all of that, getting back together and coming back around this moment, okay? And this is to, to best interest to protect you, okay? All right, I hope this message was helpful for you, Libras. If this message resonated with you, that's great. Make sure to leave me a comment. Don't forget to thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. All right, until next time, I'll chat with y'all later.